Hi y'all, I'm back. Before we begin, I want to show you these two flyers so you can tell me the difference between the two. Did you spot it yet? Did you? Okay, so before I tell you which of these two is the original, I would like to take you into Photoshop. So to set the canvas size, we go to File, New. We're going to choose the default, which is the 10 by 10. And we want to change our background to white. I'm going to bring in this image. I'm just dragging and dropping it in. And I'm going to move this and set that here. And I'm just going to drag. So we have something like this. I'm going to drag and drop in this second image. And I'm going to set it somewhere here like that. Go ahead and scale it. Add a layer max. So I'm going to click on my layer max icon. Add a layer max. Pick up my brush tool. And with my foreground set to black. I want to go ahead and increase my brush. Clicking on my left and right bracket. And I want to go ahead and brush this area like so and I'm doing the same thing on the bottom just like that and I'm also going to erase a bit of this area so you want to make sure you click on the thumbnail of your image go under filter blur and we are choosing Gaussian blur that radius to about a 7.2 go ahead and click OK now we want to go ahead and even increase this a little bit more so we have something like this we want to go ahead and bring in our subject drag and drop in we want to remove the background so go under your property we need to first of all convert the layer into a smart object so click to convert and we want to say yes photoshop will now allow you to remove the background we are going to bring in we are going to bring in bishop so we can remove the background i'm going to select my marquee tool i'm going to make a selection make sure that you have that layer activated right click and make a copy now we can delete the one below now we want to go ahead and remove the background and set it below the layer of bishop you want to pick up your rectangular marquee tool and we are just going to draw a rectangle go under our appearance so we're going to pick something like this now we want to hold these four corners this and then drag it out you want to go into our layers panel set this below our subject so command j make a copy of your original now we're going to move that and set that behind the shop and i'm going to hold my shift and we are going to scale so we want to go ahead and select these two rectangles and we are just going to rotate we need to cut a bit of the top of this rectangle i'm going to go ahead and add a new layer and i'm going to pick my lasso tool and i'm just going to draw a diagonal just like this and i'm just going to close that off now I'm gonna pick up my paint bucket and fill that in command D to D select I'm going to hold down command on my keyboard and I'm going to make a selection of my shape I'm going to turn off that layer I'm going to go on my rectangle before I add a layer max we need to go under select inverse our selection so when we add the layer max only that piece of the pie gets cut off so now that we have this off we want to repeat the same thing for the small rectangle so you want to turn this back on and move this and set it right there so we want to make sure that we have the same angle effect created on both rectangles so i'm going to repeat the same command hold command on your keyboard select the thumbnail turn off that layer and we are going to inverse our selection and then add a layer max to hide that portion so now that we have this we can make a copy of this rectangle and we can move it we want to pick up our brush tool we want to blend in the bottom portion of our subject right click on each of our subject and apply layer max right click on the um, layer apply layer max with your brush tool selected your foreground set to black select each of our subject and we are blending in just like that select the last rectangle hold down shift select the top uh, layer and we are just going to rescale if you're enjoying this tutorial please give me a thumbs up click on our top image we want to go under our gradient we are going to click on our gradient fill we want to set this to white 
so you want to go ahead and change the color and i'm going to click ok so i'm going to click on my layer max pick up my brush tool so i'm going to zoom out a little and i'm going to paint on the bottom just so we get rid of the white on the bottom just like that so now that we have this we want to create a duplicate so command j i'm going to choose my line tool draw a line a stroke effect from this end and i'm going to set it right there and we want to go under our appearance and under our stroke we want to set it to let's say 12 pixels or maybe take it to 20 and we want to change the color of that we are going to choose something like this we're going to make a copy command j and i'm going to go ahead and set that hold down shift select both command j and we are going to move that and set that somewhere like so so we have something like this pick up your rectangle tool and we are going to draw a line just like that a rectangle we are going to take the ends all the way now we want to rotate this so you want to hold we want to rotate it a little bit more and we are going to move it like that and we are trying to mimic what they have we'll add a layer mask. see we want everything to fade right behind so go under edit transform and we are going to create a wall effect so i'm going to take this down just like that very simple like this we can go ahead and click the check we want to make a copy command j i'll take that copy and i'm going to set it somewhere here we are going to click on the top layer and we are going to type in making so we're going to double click and change the color to white and i'm going to rescale it so you can highlight just the m and basically decrease the spacing we can hold up our shift and scale up our text a little bit more so we are now basically distorting the text and i'm going to pick up my move tool i'm going to double click and change this to black now we're going to do the same thing we're going to hold down shift and i'm just going to stretch this as well so we have something like this and it looks good i'm going to double click to accept and i'm going to go ahead and set that here now we need to move the text and set that above now you can see that this font has some spikes that's a way to actually hide some portions of your text so we don't see the spike what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in I'm going to add a layer map pick up your poly lassos and we are just going to pick up our paint brush with your foreground as black we can basically hide this piece now we are going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the rest of the font so i'm going to just do this and highlight the bottom with my brush i'm going to paint this i'm going to fast forward repeat and do the same thing going to pick up my lasso tool going to draw a line just like this on the k and the rest and we are going to mimic and create the same effect so pick up your brush tool we are just painting like that command d to d select and i'm going to fast forward repeat the same process so i'm using the b bus font and i'm going to go ahead and rescale like that and we are just going to type and we want to open up the spacing so we'll just do the va to open up the space in about this much we want to go ahead and type in the rest so i already have the text already typed out so guys the next thing we are going to do is that we want to go ahead and bring in the different logo go ahead and bring them in so i'm just going to set this right here double click i'm going to go back and bring in the other images as well so i'm just going to set this right here and i'm just going to go into my layer style you want to make sure that this is above so i'm going to move it and i'm going to set it right there pick up your shape tool and we are just going to draw a big rectangle or a long rectangle like this and we are going to zoom in you want to make sure that you hold these points and take them out we want to go under our appearance and our fill we want to set that to black now the stroke we want to make sure that we take out the color now we want to go ahead and add a layer max to that layer so pick up your poly lasso tool and you are just going to draw a diagonal like that with your paint brush make sure your foreground is set to black make sure you are on the thumbnail and you can go ahead and erase this portion 
command Z to deselect and we are going to create the same diagonal on this side as well and we are going to use our brush paint that in so guys this is how you create the diagonal um, rectangle shapes so now that you know how to do it I'm just going to bring in the other ones that I have done so guys this is it so now you can see that this is the replica but the original is not so far off so guys this is it I think by now you can basically tell the subtle differences this is the original now you can see that they are very little subtle differences but what really gives it away is the dates the original is 2019 and the one I did is 2023 and also if you look at Tasha Cox the pictures are slightly different because I couldn't find the original to use so guys I hope that you enjoyed this new series on my channel which is the remake of posters or flyers now if you find any other flyer that you would like me to remake please send it to me on Instagram and I will be glad to redo it please subscribe like and also share and I will see you in the next tutorial.